day, another Jedi hunt. Where is my lightsaber? What do you mean? This one? Or maybe this one? Nah. Neither of these are good enough. What's good, YouTube land? That word collected like here. Now, recently, I reviewed Kylo Ren's lightsaber. And incorrectly, I said the lightsaber takes AAA batteries when it actually takes AA batteries. And the battery uh, panel is actually where this screw is. But that's besides the point. As nice as this thing is, so sometimes you just can't be the beat the classics. So with that said, it's time for my review of Darth Vader's lightsaber. Check this out. So this isn't uh, connected to the movie, The Last Jedi, in any way. They're just, I guess, releasing these... Um, let me see. Let me see if I can find the date they released it. Or like the year. Do, 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 do. Uh, do 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 not finding it. Oh, well, who cares? We'll go over the packaging. There's a nice Star Wars logo right here with the Disney Store logo here. Uh, it's just, it's, it has the same functions as Kylo Ren's lightsaber. So it has the, the battle rumble, as you can see right here, it clashing with Ray's lightsaber for whatever reason. You do get a nice picture of Darth Vader right down here, along with whatever this logo is supposed to be right here. Uh, and again, just get a look. I guess they're not... Oh well. Yep, can't really find the date for when this was actually released. And that's basically it. You can look on the back. It's just the same stuff with uh, motion sensor controls, sound effects, the engaged blade for battle crash rumble feature, and just a list. Just many different languages, all saying basically, please retain this information for future reference. Non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharged, blah, 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 blah. Uh, just, just, just talk about batteries, really. So, let's get it open and take a look. So, yeah. I did recently pick this up also from the Disney Store. Your, uh, everyone's favorite Sith and Jedi Temple. It's actually more on sale than the Kylo Ren one. If I can uh, find where the opening is. It's not as simple as Kylo Ren's with the, uh, not twisty ties, but the equivalent. Let's see. Here we go. Darth Vader's lightsaber. It's iconic. It's classic. Um, I don't know what I need to go into, really. It's the iconic Jedi killer of one 
Anakin Skywalker turned Darth Vader. The blade is nice and straight, I think. It looks pretty straight. It might be angled a bit wonky, but, you know, it's a lot better than, well, I'd say a lot better. It's, it's a lot straighter than that. So, let's do a size comparison because everyone cares about that. Uh, and look, it appears that Kylo Ren's blade is a little bit longer. I was holding them way up there. Let's see if we can properly show that. Uh, I'm trying to hold them. Yeah, it looks a little bit longer. But again, this one doesn't have to look like it's on fire. So that's a plus. The hilt. Uh, what do you say? It's got, not, it's got all the iconic Darth Vader detail from the little black part at the top. Little, I don't know. I don't know, deep bronzish details on the sides, right there and there. These little bits and bobs that are probably t to do with, I don't know, keeping it stable. I'm not 100% up on my lightsaber technology battle. You have the button right here with this, I don't know, hexagonal pattern on it. This is the button, so you can press it. It's got a little uh, rib uh, thing right here. And obviously the try me sticker, which I will remove. And the straight lines that are on every single uh, lightsaber Anakin uh, slash Darth Vader has made. Except these are actually kind of a rubbery material. Like they're not hard plastic like these ones. They are actually kind of soft to hold, which feels good, man. It feels good. It's it's so Anakin. You can even it even still has the port thing to connect it to your belt, like uh, like Darth Maul's does. You can see they're just the same thing, like which, from what I gather, is a common trait among Jedi to craft their lightsabers with. Uh, a thing that allows them to attach it to their belt, or, yeah, belt. They wear belts on their robes, obviously. Uh, battery port is right here. The volume, the speaker is right here. And it's got the Disney copyright, which I guess makes sense to put it right there. Apparently they copyrights this in uh, 2014. So there you go. Uh, what else is there really? We have sound. We have sound. So if I turn it on, the on-off switch is right here. Obviously it has the on, the try me and the on. So I skip uh, try me and go to sounds. We get that iconic light up and the, and the hum. That, that is some good stuff right there. So, nice, bright crimson blade, and if I can hit it, I get the battle clash, like, the crashing sound effect, the clashing. And if I bring in Kylo Ren, deactivate them, we can hear them in tune, so you can hear the differences, so Kylo Ren. And Darth Vader's. And we can do the Battle Crash Rumble, because now I have two of them. And Power Down. I think that is probably my favorite feature on this style of lightsaber, is that rumble. Because, like, it makes me picture myself in a blade lock. You know? Like... Much more than just the hitting sound does. So, what's left? I can compare it to the only other uh, Dark Vader electronic lightsaber I have. Uh, this one has a bit more, I guess, detail marks. I'm not sure. Uh, this one is a bit thinner, obviously. It weighs quite a bit less. 
while this one isn't heavy, it feels like there's actually a decent amount of material here, which is what I tried to say in the video of Kylo Ren's lightsaber. And this this lightsaber obviously has the extending feature, but also has terrible plastic. You can I don't know how well you can see it, but it actually has dents from when I hit it against something and it's bent. So yeah, this one is not going to happen. It's one solid piece. And also, I mentioned it in my Kylo Ren video, but if you didn't watch that, this one does not have the uh, clashing sound effect, the hitting sound effect, like this one does. So, yep. There are also de different details right here on the bottom. I'm not sure which one is that more accurate, but... <coughs> Excuse me. But considering Disney has had the trademark for Star Wars for a few years, I don't think they would change anything on the design, so I'm going to go give them the benefit of the doubt and say this one's more accurate. And then, just for a brief look, we can look at it compared to Anakin's. You can see every lightsaber Anakin has designed has been the same basic pattern, you know, like... I know this came, well, these were, these existed at the same time in the original trilogy, but you kind of think this one came first, and then he based off his uh, next lightsaber off of this one. Actually, to me, it looks more like this one was based off the design in episode two, when he, like, he first built the lightsaber. You can kind of see it looks like this, but, like, exactly this piece, but was just silver. But I guess he refined it into more looking more like this to make it look more like the one in episode four and five, which makes sense. But uh, I guess wrapping things up. Uh, if you're looking for a good Darth Vader lightsaber and you don't want to spend the upwards of 150. Uh, 200 bucks on a force effects one or if you can't afford that I guess and you still want one that's better than what you can get in say Walmart or Toys R Us I would definitely recommend going this route like I have two of them already and as the ring shows I want more like I love this style with the single blade like single blade and the sound effects because no normally you only get one or the other actually yeah for cheaper I paid 20 bucks for this let's just say if you want that price or cheaper it's either going to be the electronic one I showed you with your chalk with the extending blade and the crappy plastic or the basic version without the electronics so yeah they don't actually make them more expensive between these two categories I find also something I like about this one more than the force effects the force effects one looks weaker in light you can kind of see like the blade is a lot faded it's not as bright as you'd want it to be if you were I don't know, having a lightsaber duel in your house on video. But this one is is completely as bright as it should be. I, that's probably due to it already being made of red plastic, but I still think that's a point towards this one. The only time you're not really going to see the light is if you if you're walking outside in bright sunlight and activate this in the sunlight you're not really going to see the blade the blade light up because it's just bright red plastic but yeah. definitely a good choice in Darth Vader lightsaber so thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed may the force be with you <laughs> and keep it weird a very interesting review, Mr. Collector. But if you do not return my lightsaber immediately,
I will have each and every toy store in the galaxy destroyed one by one.